Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making bacon and cheddar mashed potato cakes. Okay, I'm starting out in a skillet I've preheated. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to that. And I have, let me smear this around, I have one onion that I diced up fine. We're going to get that in the pan. And let me turn my heat up just a little bit. Cast iron. It takes a little while to warm up. Once it warms up, it holds its heat. All right, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of pre-minced garlic. If you use fresh, use two cloves. And I'm going to allow this to saute over medium heat for a few minutes till the onions soften up. All right, now that my onions and garlic are done sauteing, I took them off the heat. They're still in a pan. I have roughly about four cups of mashed potatoes I made earlier in the day, and I left them sit in this bowl to cool. To that, I'm going to add in two large eggs that I beat it. I have some fresh parsley here I diced up. That's about a quarter of a cup. That's going to go in. I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of salt. We don't want to go overboard on the salt because we're putting bacon in here and add a salt in it. All right, now to that I'm going to add in one cup of flour. I'm going to add in some cheddar cheese. And I'm just using a pre-shredded cheese. I'm going to go for about a cup of cheddar cheese. That looks about right. I'm going to add in some bacon bits. Now these are real bacon bits. Either use these or get bacon and fry it up and then break it up. Don't use the uh, imitation bacon bits because they won't be good. I'm going to put in about a half a cup of bacon bits. I'm going to get in here and give this a rough mix with my hands. And then we'll get that onion and garlic in there. Alright, now that I have my onion and garlic in there, I'm going to finish mixing this with a wooden spoon because that onion and garlic is going to be kind of hot and I want to burn my hands. I just want to mix everything all together well in there, flour and all your other ingredients, the egg. Alright, now that I have that all mixed up, I have my skillet preheating. I wiped it out to get out the little bit of garlic and onion. I'm going to add a little more olive oil in there. You can also use vegetable oil if you don't have olive oil. And we're going to start putting some potato cakes in there. Let me grab a teaspoon. And you just want to take a decent amount and you want to flatten it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill my pan up with potato cakes and when they get golden brown on the one side I'm going to flip them over. You want to wait till they get golden brown though because if you flip them too soon they might fall apart on you. Alright guys, you can see how nice and golden brown these are, and the reason you only see three in here now is because I fried all of them up, put them on a baking sheet in the oven to keep them warm on low. Now the secret with these are, you want to fry them over medium, medium, low heat, keep the pan well oiled, and use a non-stick pan, and don't play with them too much. When you go to flip them, do a quick motion, because they're not solid like regular potato cakes, they're a little mushy. These are ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some yummy roast beef to go with this. Let me get in here and try one of these cakes. And as they sat in the oven and warm, on warm, they firmed up some. Cheesy. Creamy. You get the bacon, they're not greasy at all. Nice crisp on them. Those are really delicious guys and they really weren't that hard at all. And you probably could use instant mashed potatoes if you really want to take the easy way out. You just want to mix, mix them too uh, moist. Alright, there you have it. Bacon and cheddar mashed potato cakes. Thanks for watching and remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.